This is Tromso, the world's most northern football club and one of the coldest football clubs in the world. Located in Norway inside the Arctic Circle, the city they play in may be beautiful, but the conditions they play in are brutal. Many of their training sessions get canceled due to the large amounts of snow. Many players refuse to transfer to this club because of how remote it is. And the nearest club in their league is over 1,400 miles away, meaning they have to travel more than any club club in their league. Temperatures frequently drop below freezing and to make matters worse, they've never won their league and they've never played in the Champions League. But today that all changes. Tromso did, however, play Chelsea at their home ground and won. To be honest though, nowadays, is that even an accomplishment? Chelsea lose to everyone. In this video, I'm going to be taking over as the manager of Tromso and attempt to win them the league for the first time and qualify them for the Champions League for the first time. We'll have two seasons to do this and we're going to get some help from a brand new player who's decided to join the team. Yes, Erling Holland has decided to return to his home country and help this team win the league for their first time ever. Although we have Erling Holland, this is still gonna be a ridiculously hard challenge. So, without further ado, let's head to Norway. Oh, and quickly, before we begin, if this video hits 20,000 likes, I'm gonna visit this team in real life and make a video on them. I don't care if I have to hike through mountains, get trapped in snow, I will go to Northern Norway and visit Tromso. 20,000 likes. Right, so here's the 11 we are starting with on Tromso. Most of you have probably never heard of this club before in your life, so let me get you familiar with it before we begin. So our highest rated players besides Erling Haaland are first Christophe Syke. He's a 34-year-old French center back with amazing hair. We have Justin Gundersen, a 26-year-old center back from Norway. And the team's captain, another 34-year-old, this time midfielder from Norway, Jensen. And this club actually has a wonder kid who goes by the name of Runar Norhe. Team. He is 17 years old. He has 80 potential. So our starting chance for budget for season one is going to be 20 million. And we're going to add a few rules to try to keep this somewhat realistic. Rule one is we're only going to be able to sign players that are from other countries that are also cold. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this team has a hard time getting transfers in general because no one wants to go that far north to play. So the only countries we're going to be able to sign players for have to be above this line or across this line. Yeah, definitely no Spain, Portugal, Italy, South America. America is definitely off limits. And because many of the club's training sessions get canceled because of snow, I'm only allowed to train half the players on our team. So let's begin with the signings for season one. Since our goalkeeper is terrible, let's start with a new keeper. And since we have to stick with the theme of signing players from colder countries, I found a goalkeeper from Sweden who goes by the name of Robin Olsen. 32 years old, 75 overall, only valued at 2.4 mil. So I'm going to offer 2.4 million. Will we have our goalkeeper? We will. In my opinion, a great Great first signing. It still leaves us with over 17 million left to spend, and we have our goalkeeper. After that, looking at the team, the next position that makes the most sense to upgrade is that second striker spot. And I have the perfect man for the job. Let's see if I can find him. Does anyone remember this man? Joshua King. He's played in the Premier League. He has tons of experience. He's from Norway. I'm gonna throw a cheeky four million pound offer in for him. They want a 9% sell on clock. Yeah, I'm never selling him. That's fine. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll take that. And he's in. I wanted to say the club that he played for was Bournemouth in the... I think he played all over the Prem, to be honest. A veteran man on this team will be running the attack with Erling Haaland. So we have roughly 14 million left to spend this season, and I want to go for a center back next. And I found this Belgian wonder kid who goes by the name of Zeno DeBast. Also, if you're ever wondering how I find players to sign in career mode, I actually started my own career mode website that you can see on the screen right now, where you can search for any player you want in career mode like i literally own this website and built this website for you guys so i went on here i typed in belgian center back where's the bass there he is click on his name and you can see all of his stats and info you can even uh leave comments on players give ratings for your favorite and uh least favorite players and this community tab so you guys can talk to other career mode fans meet career mode fans and have a blast so i'll leave a link in the description right, here we go the Bass. I am going to offer four million for this 19-year-old center back. They are going to accept. Gentlemen, we are putting together a nice-looking squad here. Another signing is in. Another upgrade to the squad, and we have about eight million left remaining. So let's go for one more big signing. I don't want to make this team all Norwegians, but I feel like this one makes sense. Sanderberg, rather young, currently playing in the Premier League from Norway, will be an amazing addition to our midfield for 
for seven million. All right, Burge is in, and boys, look at the team we've built. This should be enough to win us the league. I would be very shocked if it doesn't. This video will only last two seasons, so in this first season, our objective is to win the league. And then in season two, our objective is to see how far we can go in the champions. The only matches I'm allowed to play with this team are qualification games for the Champions League or the Champions League final if we make it that far. It is time now to simulate season one and get our results. Right, so the season in this league always ends in the first week of December. And we got good news. I think we are in the cup final, which is a competition that Tromso have won before. They've actually won it twice. Before we see the results, here's the team. Holland grows one. Berg grows three. Olsen, our goalkeeper, he's 33. He even grew in overall. Yo, Zeno de Bast, man. Plus five. Thank you. The Lord, I used careermodestars.com to find this guy. Please use it. Click in, in the description. Thank you. Up final, absolutely amazing. But this is the one we want to see, the actual Norwegian League. If we finish first, we qualify for the Champions League. But if we finish second or third, it's straight to the Conference League. So let's find out. Can't imagine we don't finish in the top three. Let's just look. We are in the top two. Yes, let's go. One loss all year from Zo is elite. Thank you, Early Holland. I love you. And we have a cup final to play in. Again, this means nothing. The club's won this competition. If we win, that'd be great. Lose on penalties. It doesn't matter. We are on to the Champions League for season two. So season two begins, and here's what the squad is looking like. Now, here's what's interesting. Our season begins technically January 1st. The Champions League doesn't start until August. So we're just going to avoid the January transfer window altogether. We'll begin league play in April with the team we have. We'll send one month, two month, three month, four months into July where the Champions League will begin. We can make new signings with our brand new 50 million pound transfer budget. And then when August begins, we will have our qualification games for the Champions League. Because remember, just because we won the Norwegian League, we're not automatically into the group stages. We do have to play qualification games. And the Champions League qualifying round matchups have been released. We're playing Dundal. I feel like we should be able to handle an Irish League team pretty easily, but it is now time to start upgrading this team to prepare ourselves for the Champions League. All right, let's upgrade this team with 50 mil. So we're going to start in the defense. I found another Norwegian, Iger. He is from the Premier League right now, playing for Brentford. We're going to go for him. I loved our first Belgian center back we brought in. We may as well bring in another. I have Fayez on our list. And then and Anthony Robinson, the American. Yes, I know the USA is not. There's warm parts of the country and cold parts of the country. Fun fact, Robinson actually born in the UK anyway. So it's all right. I really hope this doesn't run our bank account dry. Up first, nine mil for Robinson. Well, oh God, we're going to spend all our money on defenders, aren't we? Sincere, we'll call it 11. We'll shake on it. We'll, we'll make a deal here. It's done. Defender one, Robinson is walking into the team and we're now left with 39 million to spend. Right, let's go for Fayez. Fayez, 12.5. I'm just going to offer that. I think they're going to want way more. Also, can we talk about my manager wearing sweatshirts? and uh in shorts i really dressed up the occasion here 17 million if they accept this for 14 mil we're left with 24 14.8 let's just go for it i feel like spending all this money on the back line is going to pay off it's really important to have a strong defense welcome to the team Fias. and last but not least can we get another norwegian in our team 14 million Wow, we're only going to have 8 million left. There it is, our final defender and maybe one of our final signings, to be honest. There's only 8 million left. I think we're going to have to keep King up front and we're going to have to use that 8 mil to bring in one more midfielder and that's going to be it. I, no joke, I just spent like 30 minutes trying to search for a decent midfielder for under 8 mil. I landed on this rant. Another Brentford player. This is like the third Brentford player I've signed this video. Eight. Wait, I don't even have 8 million. I thought I had 8 mil. I have 6 mil. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm the worst manager that's ever existed. All right. This is a terrible offer. There's no... Uh, right. This sucks. Imagine going into a transfer negotiation and you don't even know how much money you have. Oh, God. I'm an awful manager. I didn't even know this man was still playing Harry Winks. I'm going to try to sign you. We are actually desperate at this point. 5 mil for Winks. Let's go. Fine. Harry Winks about to be the man to bring us a Champions League trophy. Doubt it, but we're trying. Right here is our team. If we do make it to January, I can bring more players in. We got to make it out of the group stage first. We have to qualify for the Champions League first. Now we're going to advance to August to our matches against Dundalk. And what a moment this is about to be. The first Champions League match ever for Tromso. And here's our opponent, Dundalk. They are only one and a half star. 
This should be an easy win. And remember, we're allowed to play these matches. And we are heading to Ireland for leg number one. All right, boys. History is about to be made right here with this kick of the ball. Let's go. I know the squad we built is nowhere near good enough to win the Champions League. That was never the goal of this video. The goal of this video was to get this team a league title and get them to the Champions League. Now it's just time to see how far we can take them and have some fun. We are playing all highlights from this match right here, meaning you guys are getting the best moments. And it is Joshua King. Is that his weak foot? Oh, my God. We got our boy King on it again. It's a 1v1 situation. He's still got pace. Cross it to Holland. Holland, oh. let's go. Post it in. There's the Norwegian man doing it for his country. Do we know in the comments, does Holland... I don't, I don't, he never played for this club. Does he like this club? Is he from anywhere near this club? First corner of the match. Let's see what we can do. Spike it. <laughs> On into the second half. I feel like we should be up by a lot more now than we are. And Holland still can't get another. How about now? How about now? There we go. And we got one more chance. Holland to complete the hat trick. Oh, it was too good to be true. That is full time though. Leg one is a W. And even though leg two should be easy, we have to play it. It is the first ever home Champions League game for Tromso. Here we go. This is the qualify for the group stages. Oh, and who would have guessed it? There's snow. <laughs> this game's too realistic. Uh oh, Dundalk through. Oh God, what a save Olsen. Already into the second half. I got to give these home fans what they came for. Their first ever home Champions League goal. I'm about to concede. We're already 70 minutes in. This is a pathetic showing for me. Wow. Did I even show a single highlight from that game? I feel like I've just let the entire... Look how sad they look. I've just let the entire town of Tromso down. Wait, I didn't even realize we have to play one more set of games before we qualify. We have a Polish team up next. I'm sorry, boys. We got we got a little bit more work to do before the group stage. I did, that's my bad. I'm the worst manager. I don't even know the rules to the Champions League. All right, let's get it. Leg one. This is the away leg. I'm going to be so mad if we somehow lose this. All right, my boy King is on a 1v1 run to start this game. Holland, why are you walking, brother? Okay, that might... That doesn't work. Oh, no. 1v1 now for Warsaw. What a tackle! Second half is our first corner of the game. Fias, 90th minute free kick for Warsaw. This is to win the match. There's, there's genuinely nothing I can do here but watch. Please no. Please no. Leg one, that was god awful as well. To make the group stage, we gotta win the home leg. And who would have guessed it? We got more snow on the ground. Let's go. Oh, what a pass. What a shot! Verge on the corner. I see someone there far post. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Oh my god, great play, boys. Great play. I like the effort. How about Harry Winks? Oh! All right, Holland. Smack it. Bang, Holland. Bang, Holland. Look at all those misses. Stop showing that. Take that off the screen. Here he goes. Oh, he's through. He's through. Go on, do it to him, Holland. It's actually not fair. Oh god. Wait, what's happened to my defense? Where? What? Jedi. Dude, take it all the way, brother. Take it all the way. No! What about Harry Winks, bro? Harry Winks! Dude, his long shot is low-key incredible. Is that in? Is that going to make it to Holland? Holland! And Holland is about to score! Come on! Let's go! The place absolutely would erupt after a goal like that. Erling Holland bags his sec. He's the only man we can score with, honestly. The only man. It is Jedi Robinson. I'm going to cross it. Oh, someone's right there. Oh, it's an easy tap, and I think it's Verge. 3-1. This game is over. It is over, ladies and gentlemen. And how about one more on Verge again? 4-2-1. There it is. For the first time ever, Tromso will be playing in the Champions League group stage. This is where I wish the game was a bit more realistic. Like the fans should be going crazy. They don't even look that happy. Now it is time to see. Who will be matched up against in the group stage? I have not seen our group. This is the official draw. Group A, Spurs and Juventus. So we have avoided two giants there. Under group B, PSG, Inter. We avoid both of them. Group C, Real Madrid, Frankfurt, Ajax. Okay. Group D, Man City, Atletico Madrid. Where are we at? Here we are. Man United, Dortmund, and Dynamo Kiev. That is a group that I don't know if we're going to be able to make it out of. This is the squad. You're familiar with it. Will it be able to take down two European giants and get out of the group stages? Let's now officially begin this Champions League run for Tromso. And we begin with match day one against Dortmund. Holland against his former club. Match one for 
nil. This is match day two. It is against Dynamo Kiev. This is one that's a must win. Will we do it? 2 nil. Our first ever official group stage win for Tromso. And that moves us to third place with our third match against United up next. Stealing a point here could be massive. We did. 1-1. One, one. Three games down, three games to go. We're third place in our group on four points. This is our home leg versus United, and United smacks us in Norway. All right, this isn't looking good. We have to win our final two games to qualify. Against Kiev, we've beat them once. We beat them again. The, the dream, the hope is still alive. In game six, looking at the table, we have to get extremely lucky here. First off, we need to win. I guess we could draw, but... We need to win, and then we need United to draw. Whatever happens here, man, it's been an amazing episode. We have, uh, we've brought glory to Thromzo. Here we go. It's in the snow in Dortmund. Interesting. Here we go. Come on. 3-2. No. Spitzer does it to us. Thromzo are officially eliminated from the Champions League. What a run. We finished third in the league in that final season. There's the final squad of the final ratings. Alan finishes second in the golden boot race in the Norwegian League. And boys, that is going to do it for the video. Let me know which sort of story I should tell next. Which club? Let me in the comment section. Tell me your club or, or a club you like who has an interesting story who I should rebuild. Click to watch the video. Click right here to access my brand new career mode websites. And boys, we will see you for the next one. Peace.